I'm going to show you guys exactly what trades I was looking at, how I executed them live, and I'm going to show you the reason why I took each and every single trade. Let's get right into the video. I might start uh, puts when we get under that 190.3 area on Tesla. We'll see. Yeah, Meta is about 50 cents away. Watch Tesla. It's going for that 190 level. <clears throat> that is about a break. I'm in these puts. Stop loss gonna be 190.3. Nice. Contracts are at one percent. Oh, three, five. Nice. There she goes. About four percent. Take a most off there. Stop loss gonna be 190, right above 190 on the rest of these cons. Nice scalp there, baby. Very nice. Yeah, this should this, this just keep going as long as NQ keeps falling. But in this area right here, that 60s area, 70s area, this is where I'm taking most off. There she goes, even farther. See, I'm taking a little bit more off right here. See, I was holding 60s and 70s. Stop loss to break even. Nice. For real? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. What the? <laughs> 20 percent on your account? Tesla's still trying to come down. New low right there. See how it's just holding that 60s and 70s? There it goes. 50s. There she goes. Take a little more off right here in that 40s. It's just getting so wicky down here with NQ trying to bounce. So that's why I'm taking profits fast down here. Let them know how it is. Let them know how it is. Literally the first five minutes into market open. Here comes the video. And NQ's falling right now. We literally just recovered from CPI. <laughs> Here comes the video. I'm in these. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Yo. <coughs> this caught me off guard, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> bro, I almost died right there. <laughs> bro, take about 75% off right here. That's a 5% move like that. Bro, what a day. Look at it go. <laughs> Mostly out right there. Leaving runners. Yo, let them know how we did. Another one. Back to back. Bro, it's only been the first 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. I low key feel bad for anyone that's not in this call right now. <laughs> Bro, Nvidia. Nvidia's at 268. 268 is a This is crazy. The video is falling. Oh my gosh. Market is tanking right now. Oh, and 41.50. Wow. <coughs> Gotta make sure that ES isn't bouncing. Easy price action, baby. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Is that a five play move on ES? Oh my. Here comes that NVIDIA. Oh my gosh, bro. I wanna, I'm not selling NVIDIA until we get to 267. It's either, it's either 268 or 267, I swear. It's full in, full out. I just want to catch this thing, especially if NQ goes under. 
these contracts I'm not getting 5% I need 10% or nothing I'm taking some off here then <laughs> yo right down to that 267 baby Alright, I sold 75%, but I'm literally leaving 25% to break 267 or not. Here comes 267! Let's go! That's what I wanted, baby! That's what I wanted. Got about 5% left. <laughs> Let them know, that's three, bro. We're literally 20 minutes into the morning. I'm done. Imagine. It being done in the first 20 minutes. Three for three. It's not just one for one. It's three for three. Very, very nice. Easy, followable trades. Let's get it, baby. All right, so now let's go over each and every single trade that I took on the day. As you guys can see, we came up from CPI. Usually, it doesn't last long, but either way, I'm just reacting to what I see. We started coming up, and we're just weak off open on Tesla. Tesla is definitely weaker than the market because the market started going up a little bit while Tesla was going down. If you could find that weakness, you are golden. So we saw that weakness, we saw that Tesla is definitely weaker than the entire market. So I was looking at that downside 190 level. You guys can see we came up with CPI, started holding 190, 190 had a huge wall. As soon as we break around that 190.3, that's when I start a position. As you guys heard me say that I was gonna take a position under that 190.3, and then I was gonna fully add at that 190 level, that's exactly what I did. Very nice move down, perfect move down, and then the rest of the contracts hit break even, but that was a very nice scalp. That was a 5.5% move, just like that first five minutes into the open. And then, after Tesla, we ran right into NVIDIA. As you guys can see, NVIDIA started going up, right? And Tesla was coming down. So it just indicated that Tesla was super weak. Then NVIDIA just kept falling and falling and falling. NVIDIA 270 had a very nice wall. You guys could also see that we started to bounce off of that pre-market area. All of these levels are posted before the market opens and they're all posted the night before as well. And then if any changes happen, then we post it around an hour before the market opens just because, you know, CPI and GDP in the morning at 830 stuff could really move. And just like this stuff did move, but then it came right back down to 70. We took that to the downside. Very, very nice move. As you guys can see, that was a literally 60 cent move just like that. Very, very nice move. And then 268 had a very nice wall as well. So then we took it under that 268. We took mostly out around here, that 267. I literally said I'm riding this to 267. And then it came up, started rejecting 268 area, 268.20. But I was waiting because it started rejecting this high right there. Another H, right? People taking profits, came right back down. As soon as we made that new low day, I was fully out right there. Very, very nice moves. Three for three on the day. A very, very easy day. Like this day was very easy. And I mean, this week and last week have been amazing. Last week was my best week of 2023. You just gotta be able to react to what you see because if we look at ES, right? ES had this nice move up and then we just literally came right back down. A lot of people are probably chasing calls and stuff like that. And that's exactly what you're not supposed to do. You just gotta react to what you see. We saw the market trying to come up and Tesla trying to come down, indicating weakness. As soon as the market turned around, Tesla died and then we saw Nvidia dying. So everything was planned for everything was very very easy to follow again i live trade every single day on my discord post the watch list the lessons everything that you guys need to know link in bio i'll see you guys next time